Hello, welcome back. This is Wiley again. Um, starting up with part three of my uh, Valley Without Wind series here. Um, a Valley Without Wind. I keep, I keep cutting out the A. You know, it's just not as really epic without the A. Um, uh, I've had a, a couple changes here. Um, I, uh, I updated the, one of the great things about this game is they, they release like one to two updates a day. And uh, unfortunately, some of the time when you update, uh, it, you can no longer play your old worlds. Um, really, I didn't actually try. I was just getting an error message, and it, it was saying I could try, but I thought I'd just uh, start a new world. So I'm basically at the exact same spot I was. I'm playing a new character now. Uh, this fellow here, um, this young man, but other than the fact that it's a dude now instead of a chick, um, not much has, has really changed. I've got a lot of the same spells. Um, I did just learn this earth spell called Launch Rock, which does this. Um, it's a pretty high damage spell. Um, I, I've been learning a bit too. Um, I actually have been reading for a change, which is, is good, I think. Um, and I've learned that uh, it seems that I was saying earlier that uh, certain spells could hit background entities, and I think what I've learned is that all melee spells can, so I'm now using this uh, Miasma Whip, or Miasma Whip. I've seen that in a lot of games, and I still don't know how it's pronounced, but uh, anyway, so I've been using that for melee. Um, I also learned the hard way earlier today that uh, you, you really need a lot of these wood platforms. And um, so I have, you know, I have like 45 now or something like that. Um, but I'm going to need more than that. I tried to, to run a little sort of dungeon area earlier. Um, one of the things that progresses you through the game... Um, sorry, I, I'm skipping over a lot of stuff, but this game is just so huge. So what I've done here is I've, I've pulled up the planning menu, and then I've gone to things you should do, which is really just amazing. And it's giving me a list of... Uh, stuff that I should just focus on, um, which is, is nice because, you know, I think this is, this is such a huge game that it can be overwhelming. So first it's just listing some supplies that I need. Um, there was about four or five things here originally, but I've gotten some of them now. So all it's telling me now is I it recommends that I have 200 wooden crates and 90 wooden platforms, which sounds about right. God, I keep clicking close. Um, but the more, and then obviously get two tier two ranged defensive spells is pretty self-explanatory. But uh, unlockables to pursue. Now this is um, everything from really simple stuff. Win three missions, win three boss tower missions, find a stash, uh, kill, you know, five Skelebot giants. Um, these are all... These all unlock just a ton of new stuff, um, new mission types, and uh, new. Some of them, I think, unlock new enemy types, or uh, even even sort of um, gameplay elements are unlocked. Certain gameplay elements by doing these. So um, I, I haven't progressed through a whole lot of them yet. Um, obviously, you can see that. But um, one thing is, I've unlocked a new mission type just from beating two of these boss tower missions. It's the Stealth Assassination and Building mission. Uh, I've tried to run this before, um, not recently, but but uh, a little while ago, and I, I've beat a couple of them, and I've also died horribly on a few of them. So they're much more strategic, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, before I go into that, though. Um, I do want to say uh, some of the unlockables are just reaching certain levels of these caves that stretch under some of the chunks, a lot of the chunks. Um, I tried to do that earlier and I got about halfway down and ran out of wood platforms. So um, yeah, that's, uh, although it occurs to me now I could have warped back. It was my old world though, damn. Well, nothing lost. Uh, well, I guess I did lose something. Anyways, um, just getting right back into the thick of things here. Uh, one thing I did want to point out, you can't see it now, but you will in a moment. Um, in fact, I'll enter this old shed so you can. Every time I enter an area, I've got this little uh, lightning that's going around me here. I'm invincible, and invisible, really, until I move, uh, which isn't always useful at all, but sometimes um, you'll spawn in a room... And, you know, you'll have a mini-boss on top of you. And 
can take a couple of seconds, wait for him to walk out of range before you uh, take a step and become vulnerable. Just real cool. That's a, that's a mechanic that's, that's been around for years. Uh, it's in, I've put, I've seen that in games. I played when I was, you know, in kindergarten. Um, all right, so I'm just killing some of these little blobs here. Blob bitches. They're, uh, they're called espers, which if you've ever played uh, Final Fantasy VI or XII. Um, I think espers are just sort of spirits. Um, okay, so I'm looking for the dungeon. God, I, I get so distracted. I really... College was not good to my brain. Okay. So, uh, entering the mission area here. So now this is, uh, this is gonna explain the basic concept of the stealth assassination. Um. Um. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's telling me that the, um, the, the Ilari, I, I called them the Ivari last video, they, they're, uh, giving me this stealth power. Um, that I have so I'm gonna have a little bit extra uh, stealth a uh, little bit less aggro basically and uh, but every room's gonna be a little darker and um, it's it's telling me that there's gonna be a whole bunch of rooms which the dungeon maps gonna be crucial for this um, and I need to find the one that's the boss room another thing that's really useful these lines here are great okay so they can see me which is sort of bad Surprised they didn't attack me. Got sort of lucky. Um, okay, so I'm just running through rooms here, just trying to open up the map a little bit and see what we've got. Oh, I found the mini boss. So I got really lucky. And I can tell that I found him because it's a pink line and because it went quiet. So, um. <laughs> well, I didn't get to show you very much of that mission, but, um. <laughs> Basically what was going on here, these guys can, can almost one-hit me. Um, it doesn't list that in their stats here, but, but they would they would do a ton of damage if I were to move. I don't really want to because I, I kind of want to show you, but <laughs> I don't want to get killed right before this mini-boss or go in there with, you know, 50 health or something. So I'm just going to go back. I don't think they're... They won't one hit you. They're not that strong, but they're, they're. Uh, you can't really kill them. Um, I, I, I think I did get killed by just like three of them in a couple of seconds once. Okay, so I can't hit this dude. Um, so he's, he aggroes too. He'll do a lot of damage. Okay, so, so this new spell that I have is is totally OP, and I'm just doing tons of damage. To him. As you can see, that was like a five hit kill. Oh, so one cool thing though, the patch. Um, I am sort of glad I patched because I've noticed that uh, the bosses now drop these shards. Uh, they're these upgrade stones, rather, um, which is awesome. Uh, I really like that. That I, I like that. Uh, that means my whip is real fast. Nice, nice and tight. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm just kind of cleaning up this room here. Um, I think I've actually learned a couple of enchantments recently that I haven't looked at. I'm pretty bad at remembering to check those out. So you learn them so quick. There's those enchantment pods are all over the place. I'm really interested to see just how everything's going to stack up in this game because uh, one of the most interesting features about it is uh, it's it's supposedly just infinitely large. Um, so when I finally defeat the boss of this world, and from what I was reading of the the guide they have on the website, that actually takes uh, you have to be civilization level or tier tier 20 actually before you uh, are really able to take on the the overlord he's called. And I haven't even reached tier 2 yet, so that's just a, a small example of how big it is. Oh, and once you beat the Overlord, you, you just access a new continent. That's all. Another uh, thing, um, I, I beat that pretty fast, so I'm going to go over some, some other sort of general details right now, um, just in case you're interested. Uh, you can see there's these areas of storm. Um, those are just, you don't want to go there. It's... Uh, you know, it increases the strength of monsters. This is basically telling me, you know, don't, you shouldn't, shouldn't go here. Um, 
and it's it's really difficult to move around. Monsters are more powerful. You're weakened. It's just bad news. You can't do any missions there or anything. Um, and in order to uh, push back the storm, I'm going to have to build uh, these wind traps. And in order to build the wind traps, I have to be at a certain uh, uh, civilization level. That's not what it's called. What is it called? Uh, oh, it is. Well, continent tier, I suppose, is really the, the name of it. Damn. My new, uh, so, uh, my new, uh, village here, um, settlement is, is a mirror image of my old one, and it's driving me crazy. Okay. So I can get fireball tier two. It's probably not a bad idea. Now here's something that's really neat, um, that I really like. Uh, in the Big Honkin Encyclopedia, they give you a crafting guide. And you can look at it by tier. So right now I'm going for my tier two spells. So I can look up exactly what ingredients I need. Like, gosh, I would really love, you know, Miasma Whip too. Um, so I can look in here and, and see, here's everything that I need. And, you know, I, I might not, um, what is entropy? Interesting. Um, that might just be its, uh, elemental attribute, I think. Um, I've never seen these cherries before, but it is telling me, uh, down in the middle there where it says locked. That's, that's what I have to do to, uh, to unlock the cherry. So I've got to destroy all monsters in grasslands. Tier two. Okay, so that's an item I'm not going to be able to have for a while. But something like this, reach cave system two in abandoned town. That's that's definitely something that I could do. Um, at this point, maybe I might need a few more tier two spells actually, because I did have trouble earlier. And this is just something that uh, you can find laying around. That's another another thing I haven't I haven't really gone into the exploration in this game very much, but. Um, it's huge. Um, I mean, every you know, every chunk has dungeons you can explore and underground areas you can explore, and you can move around it really effectively with you know the dungeon map and sort of look. It'll actually show you where areas uh, that are rich in minerals are, and you can you can farm and mine uh, the upgrade items that you need from some of those caves. Some of the some of the upgrade items you do kind of get exclusively from missions, but. Um, some of them, yeah, you can just sort of find laying around, which is great. Um, so I'll show you one more thing before I leave. Um, I've unlocked a new mission called Fix Anachronisms in Building. Anachronism is uh, something that's out of time. And so what you have to do for those, um, I'm not going to attempt it now because I need to, to gather my mental resources before I do. I might actually need to probably get some more uh, items before I roll in there. I might even want to upgrade my health because those are, are really difficult. Um, half of the enemies reflect damage at you and you have to be very careful about uh, who you're damaging and, and you have to find the enemies that take damage. It's, it's a crazy monster fest. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please, uh, you know, if you feel like it, like it, um, comment with any suggestions or criticisms. And, uh, I hope you'll uh, check out my channel again sometime.